cooks ain't supposed to do that. So two binfuls into harvest season, things sort of came to a halt. Uh, I've got the water pump disassembled. That's uh, what's left of the impeller. From there, here's what's left of the seal, and of course the bearing is gone. I uh, I don't know if this is why it went out, but the weep hole here was plugged up. The weep hole keeps uh, antifreeze that gets past the seal from getting into the bearing, and of course antifreeze is an extremely poor lubricant. But anyway, I couldn't find a uh, replacement water pump online, but I found a water pump repair kit. I think these are pretty similar to the water pumps uh, that are on these mo that motor when it's in a tractor. I think the only difference is that uh, this combine one has more. It has four ports for coolant lines. And I think that's the difference. Anyway, my uh, water pump rebuild kit should be here tomorrow. So with any luck, we'll, uh, I'll bring you back and we'll reassemble this water pump. Got my water pump rebuild kit. The gaskets there, the impeller, shaft and bearing, seal, and of course, zero instructions, but I think I can figure it out. I believe it's pretty straightforward. We press this into the uh, housing there until the, uh, the bearing race is uh, even with that. Then press the pulley onto the shaft until the pulley is flush uh, with the shaft there. Then turn it over, drive the seal in. I think this is the tool to, uh, to install the seal. Then press the impeller onto that shaft. And I believe that's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and give this a whirl. I'm using this three quarter inch drive socket to press this in because I want to be pressing on the bearing race and not the shaft. And it seems to be pressing in in pretty good order here on my press. There, I believe that's it. Now I've got a piece of quarter inch steel underneath there up against the uh, shaft. So I'm only pressing on the shaft and not the uh, any other housing. The shaft is taking all the pressure. So I get this pressed down till it's, uh, till it's flush and then the jack should stop. Okay, that should be it. Okay, here is the seal. I believe we use this tool, put it in here like that, and drive the seal into there. So let's give this a try. Okay, the seal is in place. All right, pressing the impeller on now. And I'm gonna take it off. It looks about right. I'm gonna take it off and make sure we have enough, uh, enough clearance there. I don't remember what the clearance is supposed to be. Uh, I don't know if I can find 
don't know if I can find any specs on that. Like I said, I got no instructions with this, but uh, I'm thinking we get uh, we get about an eighth inch of clearance there. That should be enough. Okay, I think we officially have a rebuilt water pump for the combine. So let's load up some tools and head up to the field and see if we can get this installed. Okay, I've got things cleaned up here enough to put the water pump back on. And I apologize, but I don't have my magnetic mount or action camera with me today. So there's really no good way to mount you where you can get any kind of a look at me doing this. So I'm just going, going to go ahead and uh, put the pump on and show you the end result. So far, no runs, no drips, no errors. But I think I'll go ahead and shell out a bin full before I take all my tools home. Getting her done two rows at a time. We got that much shelled out without further incident. So I think I'll go home and get the F600. It's only got two bin fulls in it right now. I'll finish filling that today. It's supposed to be kind of rainy around here for the next four days. So I'm not sure when I'll pick up this again, but at least, at least I'm ready to go. So I'll bring you along whenever we get back at this. So until next time, everyone out there, have a good day.